looks like there'll be five minutes of injury time so plenty of minutes for Munster to get the fourth try or Claremont to do something special Stringer tried to make it difficult for Pete, and here comes the fourth try, maybe. The referee he was looking very carefully at that. Brilliant from Stringer at the base. It looks like a yes, it's Stringer doing what he does best, getting in the way and uh, annoying you. Uh, and that's what he did on peak there. He was just right in there. Great play from him. Just enough to mess up the ball and just have to see if Alan Quinlan manages to get over without pushing it forward. Is it the whitewash? Derek Bevan having a look here. He got down on the ball so well. Another angle, huge attempt from Malzier. Gray from Quinlan in the face of flying boots from Malzier. Munster still looking for this fourth try. Is this it? Yes. Thank you. Yes, it is. Try number four provided by Alan Quinlan. Yeah, and that's exactly what they wanted at that stage. You just hear Peter Stringer here. Just gets in, does enough, messes up the ball, and Alan Quinlan does brilliantly there. He keeps his composure and gets it over. And it's not a double move because there was no one around him or anything else. We saw last week as well uh, a similar example for Fairmont. So uh, try awarded and the bonus, vital bonus point for Monster. <laughs> So Gara to take the score past 30. They've got the four tries that they wanted so desperately. The ball holds its line and it goes between the uprights. It's a good looking score now for Munster. And crucially in that 31, the four tries from Payne to Pokey, Carney and now Quinlan. And on that replay, Malzia doesn't come out of it too well.